There's a man standing here to our right. Two division, former two division champion, Danny Garcia in the house. I'm here to not just say that this might be your next opponent, but I'm announcing that this will be your next opponent. What do you think of that, Errol Spence? My have tables turn. <laughs> <laughs> I've been calling the guys out for a long time. Like I said, tables will turn, and they will be calling me out now, and that's what we're getting right now. But like I told Al Heyman, as soon as I signed with him, I told him, you line them up, I'm going to knock them down. Right, there you go. Some fighting words there, Danny. What, what did you see in this fight, and, and what do you have to say in response to that? It was a tough, rugged fight, like I said it would be. Um, but he's the top dog, and I want the top spot. So I'm here to tell Errol Spence, I want you next, baby. Let's get it on. Was there anything that you saw in this fight that surprised you about Errol Spence Jr.? It was a tough, rugged fight like I said it would be. It was a 50-50 fight. It was a split decision victory. Sean Porter's a hard fighter to look good against. He got the job done, and I'm here to say I won next. All right, well, we don't know when or where, but we most, certainly, we most definitely know who. Congratulations on a great win here, Al. Thank you. All right. Let's have well, that play a factor as the bell goes to begin round one. Thurman in the red, white, and blue with Garcia in the black and white with yellow. Thurman said there would be no feeling out process. There is no feeling out process. And when these guys... They're usually very careful at picking their spots. Keith Thurman has been down once in his career. Garcia has never been on the canvas, but they are throwing with bad intentions early. And that's why I said... Has recorded four first round KOs all in his first seven fights. But looking to faint, walking down Garcia. Garcia unloading with that lead left hook. One of his calling cards, and he just stopped Thurman with that left hand. Thinks he can do the same. Oh, but there's a sweeping left hook by Thurman. Garcia backed up. Man, right up a cut by Thurman. He wants, he, has, he wants to counter, especially if you try to exchange the left hook, which is his big punch. Right hand. In the fighter meeting, Keith Thurman acknowledged our analysis as Danny Garcia there on the belt line as he has to be careful not to target the peninsula below the equator as you hear those shots land. So things settling down a bit here in the second stanza, but there's a nice right upper coming inside by Thurman. And a left hand that lands for Keith, one time Thurman. Overhand right, and another right. The fighters were talking trash, which I, you know, which, which we all do. Oh, oh. man. Big hook. Garcia doubled over. Thurman to the occasion. On the sport's biggest stage. Oh, but there's another thudding. Even just using those rangefinder jabs has helped oh. him in this fight. Oh, nice hand on the left shot. hook. Garcia rolled with and the head movement of Thurman timing the jab avoiding it that shot bringing it ready We are through three and BK Official score Steve Farhood. How do you see the fight? Mo F Thurman ahead two rounds to one the second round was the They've taken turns being the aggressor oh, good right hand to the body by Thurman Nice one, two. Lead left hand, but what a counter by Thurman. Backing up Garcia. Early done that, and that left hook was a big one by Thurman. Garcia has a big movement. Nice combination by Thurman in the final seconds. Have more knockouts than Tyson throughout his career. With 22, he's halfway towards equaling. He's just following him. You gotta step to the side, step, step to the right. Beautiful. Good 16. Seen it on CBS as well. And now Garcia looking to dig away at the body with the left hooks. Now Thurman trying to establish the jab We're in this fight. We're starting to see it now mm -hmm. as this fight unfolds. Yeah, he has gotten back to it. Oh, the left hook of Thurman. We've come to the end of round five. Garcia with a flurry. Neither man has been as effective offensively as they, as they would like. Oh, sweeping. It's Danny Garcia is leading in terms of number of punches he's thrown. He's up by about oh, eight good. now. See what good happens. combination by Garcia. And nice head movement. Good. 
Chapman throws his jab. I tell you what, Link. And oh, more than more than once, it kind of puts his man to sleep. Danny Garcia could show this kind of foot movement. He boxed well against Matisse Anderson. Lead right block. Oh, and that left hand was right on the belt by Garcia. Farad made the good point. This could be an important round. It's been a very close one. There's a left hook that landed by Thurman as he avoided the attack by Garcia. Garcia, though, rolling as well. And around seven. There's power in this weight class yet. Good exchange. Again, Thurman not scoring with any of those shots. And, well, Garcia misses as well. So, the question for Garcia as we move on is, he has had some trouble at the end of fights. Uh, in the Encounter. for 12 here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Right uppercut lands for Thurman. All due respect to his landings, he had a little bit more than Thurman is here. Thurman with the right uppercut, and Garcia misses with the right and misses with... do land that big punch. Both, let both hands go. And Al Thurman, known as Garcia, to pivot away. That was a very good body punch. And, and a front left hook upstairs by Thurman. And the other. Just from all angles, various yeah. angles. It's a good point. Mike missing with a lot of those punches as well. That one bounced off the arm, and Garcia swings wildly. Wildly as we're down the stretch here in round nine. And they're swinging for the fences. I see him, the confidence. He's thinking the whole time. He's moving the whole time. Then landed the left to the body. Stepping to the left or stepping to the right. the concentration. Lead left hook, right uppercut lands for Thurman. We are headed to the championship rounds in this, the 10th welterweight title unification fight in history. He's trying it because he has to. And he has, but the thing about it, a champion has to close this show. Well said, one of the greatest champions in the sport, and now they're trying to do Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. <laughs> Judge at ringside, John McKay scores about 116 to 112 in favor of Keith Thurman. <laughs> Judge Kevin Morgan sees about 115 to 113 in favor of Danny Garcia. And judge at ringside, Joe Pasquale scores about 115 to 113 in favor of the winner. He is still undefeated. He is now the WBA and WBC unified.